What's up guys, Chris here from Underground. Today we're gonna have a uh, store tour slash feeding video. I'll show you guys what I'll be feeding. Some regular flakes, some Tetra and Viberbite mix, a Hikari floating sticks, some algae wafers. These are the Tetra algae wafers and the New Life Spectrum mixed up. Veggie flakes for some fish. And then we have frozen foods, shrimp, some finer diced up shrimp, mysis shrimp, and jumbo mysis. We're gonna start with this tank right here. For the last video, we had some bass come in. So we have the, the pimensis, we have one kelberi left right here. Orinoco is in the corner there. There's a bay snook, pretty rare. We got lynx cats. Uh, the lynx are very hungry fish. So we'll feed them quite a bit. Let me just take a handful of shrimp. The lens literally act like sharks, super fast on the bottom. Got a giant luteus pleco here. There's a big clown knife in the back. You can hardly see him. Some days it's pellets, some days it's shrimp. You always switch it up. And here we have some red islanum, pretty rare. Some big Dempsey's. The glare is pretty bad at the daytime here, so. Geo Jurupari's, a red Texas. Some um, Vieja Sinspilum Flowerhorn Hybrids, L27 Royal Pleco, another big Luteus. The floating sticks in for the cichlids here. Super cool patterns on these hybrids. So these are pretty aggressive because they have the flower horn strain in them. Um, so definitely, you know, good tank mates for your jaguars and red devils. And you can see in this tank, there's a bunch of different Central South American cichlids mixed up. Moving on. In this tank, we have a pike cichlid, some black bar over dollars. There's a mosaic, bowling gorilla, maculata. We got the Lima shovel nose. And there's also a nice pleco, redfin blue eye. So here we got some jumbo mysis. Silver dollars go crazy for this stuff and the pike should go darting for it too. Both pikes go crazy for that. Everybody loves frozen food in the store, but they only get this every other day. A bunch of angelfish and some leopard set of uh, leaf fish, bush fish. Here we have some cool catfish. They call Brachyramdia imitator. But here we just feed a bunch of flakes, and they just go crazy for that. We have some baby royal plecos in this tank as well. Little baby royals. There's an L27 royals. Nice patterns on these. Here we have juvenile granulated catfish, some phoenix barb, some pike cichlids, and then also some geophagus grupari. These guys eat crazy, so we just put granules in here and they all go crazy for that stuff. Venezuelan pikes below, only two left of those. Very aggressive eaters. This, this is a pike that is uh, fairly common. Gets to be about 14 inches, like the zebrina. They have a more, you know, almost like a lenticulata, but not a bright pattern on them, like a lenticulata. More faded out, I would say. 
Tiger Oscars and some gold several. Eat some, everybody loves the tetragranules. Red dragon flower horn. Flower horn's a cool fish. If you plan on having a lot of Central South Americans mixed up like African cichlids, or if you plan on keeping it by himself. This tank, we have peacock bass, geophagus, balzanis, and a tiger fish. So we're gonna feed the floating sticks for the bass first. They should go and hit it right away. And then for the balzanis and plecos, you have these granules. These go crazy. See the tiger fish has the pellets. Just chewed it down. All these fish are on our website. If you have any questions about them, just message us. But most most of these fish that we're throwing right now are fish that get larger. Uh, like peacock bass could be up to you know 20, 24 inches. These are the uh, butterflies, so these don't get too big to the 24, but still get an 18 inch fish. Then you got beautiful Luteus pleco. This tank here. Here we have a cool community fish it's called Splash Tetra. Uh, these are the Copina gutatas. We got a couple other species. These are these guys right here. And then we have Bulgarian seal point angelfish. And then we also have a Tanganyikan cichlid, um, Juliochromis reganis. Which you can see down here. This tank just gets uh, some granules. Like that. Feed them all eat the little Julio Chrome is coming out. Here we have Polypterus poly. This is the species. I know people call any Polypterus a poly or Vicer, but the uh, the name for these is Polypterus poly, the Latin name. And these will eat any type of small shrimp and stuff like that. We'll put some in here. Let it sink. They all should smell it and start getting it. You get around, I would say, 15 inches max. Not very aggressive, but whatever they can fit in their mouth, they'll definitely eat. So your smaller fish cannot be housed with these. So anything medium to large is a perfect tank mate. Here we have some African brown knife, NTT datnoids, and a tiger oscar. On the other side, we have a red islanum cichlid. And here we have a wild oscar and the jelly cat. So this tank gets a variety of a couple different things. The fish eat different stuff. So we get some shrimp. Some shrimp for these guys. Catfish. Very cool cat. We got the knives coming out again, the small pieces. Here we have another wild Oscar. This is a pretty cool pleco we sold already. But this is a yellow cheek pine cone. See him right here pretty rare here we have some wild tefe discus so these are the semi-spotted discus fully quarantined and then we have juvenile tamensis peacock bass and we have some longfin rams and some black phantom tetras also a few dwarf pikes left but uh, this tank is obviously not stocked for the long run. It's just for selling. You, you cannot keep bass with tetras or rams. Um, this is just because now we are the same size, but in a home tank, you would have to separate those. 
and then we'll show you guys how acclimated these wild discus are. They're eating just like any domestic discus. Super beautiful patterns on them. See the little bass eating crazy. They just go at the pellets, no problem. A lot of people have issues with discus, only eating frozen and stuff like that. We start with a good a good quarantined and also a uh, established fish, you will have no problems. This tank here, we have the slobbering cat. Pretty cool, pretty rare. Some baby monster arapaima. Few rogue fish left. And one geo svenai left. Tank gets a little bit of everything, some shrimp, some frozen. They might not eat, they're very shy. Whatever whatever fish are very shy, we're just gonna skip over them. Keep showing you other stuff. This is a tank with some bleeding heart tetras. Um, we have some pretty rare Lepotia elongadas, Emperor Loach, Imperial Loach. These guys love to eat any type of granule and pellet. All the loaches should come out. Up here we have some golden dorados. These guys are gonna have to be separated very soon. At this small stage, they kind of could live together. But um, once they get a little bigger, they get super aggressive. This is just your assorted peacocks. We have some tresephalus. Neolamprolocus, some wild caught Alto Lamprolocus, we have a gold head, yellow chatika. Just give them some pellets and then also veggie flakes. They normally take that right away. Here we got the holy grail. This is the cross river puffer. Which is the holy grail puffer. Today he's just getting uh, diced up shrimp. But well, normally we give him some clams or some crayfish, live crayfish. Uh, just for his shell. Snails, freshwater snails. And that's this is an eating machine. Super cool patterns. Fish that you gotta probably keep alone. We have four lines and pick this. Basket mouth cichlids, pretty rare. Some Cubans. And then super cool, we have the baddest, baddest crazy fish. We got the black ones with the red fins on the bottom and then some of the brown ones. All came in with the same. The catfish, everybody goes crazy in this tank. Over here we have some other cichlids, Central South American. Blue Acaras. Nicaraguensis cichlids. They're just gonna eat the same, some frozen. Well, taking this food cart over. These tanks are gonna have bad glare. But in here we have some of the tiger mores. I'm gonna put some food in. And once I see them come out, we will uh, capture these. Blue phantoms. Albino silver arowana. There we go, actually. Check them out. I believe this is the only freshwater moray. For breeding, they have to go into salt or brackish. I'm not quite sure. 
but they can be kept with no problems in fresh water for their whole life. Geophagus steindachneri, which is the red hump, the Pellegrini is yellow hump. Some Geophagus wine millerize, and then some L398 Ponke plecos. Here we have some baby Tigrinus. And then we have one baby black arowana. This is your Malawi Labidochromus Perlmunts, Tanganyikan Juliochromus Kipleys, and then Malawi Synodontis Nagensis. Here we have the Mabu Puffer, which is the largest freshwater puffer. Let's eat a couple pieces of shrimp. He is still pretty small. Very smart fish. These guys are the largest fresh for the puffer, so they do get fairly big. You need a big tank for these. And it can't really be kept with much. It can be kept with smaller fish sometimes, depends on its personality. Some of them don't tolerate anything. Here we have some green terrors, some geophagus damians, uh, some adult giant danios. Have some frozen food. African cichlids. Some firecracker trophies. OB firecracker trophies. Some um, cyprochromus. Flameback obligaden cichlids. Some um, Malawi eye biters, super rare albino synodontis multipuntatus, frontosas, and these will get veggie flakes. Hold in. Then we'll put some granules on top of that as well. Very active tank. These are all African cichlids pretty much. Different areas. But there's also the loop eyes, which is right there. Some really cool Dantum angels. Three regular Dantums. And then one albino Dantum. A dantum is a hybrid between a altum angel and a scalar. Very nice. You have your spots along them, very tall bodies. Giant danios, Cory Schwartzies. These guys just eat a bunch of frozen food today. We're not shipping anything out tomorrow. We shipped everything out today, so everybody's getting a heavy feeding. Revis shell dwellers, some red top hongi, some coptodon coteas, feeding some granules. Next to them we have Leolamprolocus melis. Here we have a nice size albino arowana and some beautiful blue faced heckles. There's one blue moon. And these guys as well are eating our Tetra Viberbite mix. Um, they're still a little shy compared to the other ones. Just a much shyer fish. Look at the colors on these. One of my favorites. Very calm. 
fish to go. These can go with any domestic and any wild. A lot of people are scared to mix wilds and domestics. But if you have an established wild, you can go with your domestics no problem. Here we have some redhead tapahos, some albino hecali threat spinacaras, jardoni barbs. They eat lots of frozen. We have some captive bred Philipterus larpidae. Super nice pattern on these guys. Over here we have some royal acaras. Aquadens diademas. Some fish do not like the camera. See him going. Latias Fleco Phase 2 coming out. This is a nice tank. Albino Red Tiger Oscar. A regular Red Tiger Oscar. Bumblebee Oscar. Some vieja melanoras and spylums. Big male here. Nice female in the back. Albino Gibbiceps Fleco. And these are the largest Polypterus weak side I've ever seen. They push it around 20 inches. We have two of them here. And there's a nice sized vulture cat over there. These guys are going to give the um, jumbo mysis, almost like krill. All right, so we're done with the lower portion of the store. Uh, we skipped some tanks to keep the video a little shorter. This is the white rack of all 40s, three high, all around. Here we have our store pet. This is a tegu lizard. We will show him in another video. Here we have some barbs and machiers and blue tie machiers. We have the pretty rare Leptobarbus melanisticus, which they call red bottle shark, with the black on the tails, bigger guys. Then we have albino Lucier barbus. Down here we have some more Polypterus retropinus, Polypterus delhalesi, big eel. Albino tinfoil and pretty rare marble lancer cat. This guy's around seven inches too. Here we have some assorted peacocks. Two different sizes. These eat like crazy, everybody knows that. They go crazy for the food. Nice big sulfur head. Right there. Living stone eye. Here we have some fancy plecos. Spiny monster. Solo Felix. L25 seven pointer. Some big three beacons, a red parrot, and there's also a galaxy pleco. Here we're going to throw food in, we'll come back to them once they come out for all the food. Here we have silver arowanas, albino silver arowanas, and some Threspinacara geophagus, hecalize. On this side we have a nice big Epsetos Odeo, one of my favorites as well, African Pike. And then here we have some Florida Gars, Spotted Gars, 
real nice. Some regular pearl stingrays. You guys are eating shrimp right now, and this is our plant tanks. Pretty low right now on plants. We got some boosts, boosts of planteras, uh, Anubias, Hygrophilias, uh, Moneyworth, Rubin Swords, the red burgundy colors. The domestic discus tank, which we have a bunch of wild Peruvian angels, leopard snake skins, blue diamond, yellow melons, yellow pigeons. Red diamond, uh, yellow pigeon, and red pigeons. And there's also Fiji reds in here. See them all eating the pellets. They love this stuff. So these you can mix with the wilds. As long as they're both base starting, both have the same diet, they should do fine right away together. Echoes are all eating. See them right there, all eating the little flakes and pellets I threw in. Here's the galaxy. Free beacon. All right, so this was it for the feeding and the quick store tour. We still have another part that will show the basement, the whole quarantine area. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. Have a good day.